Okay, we're filming. <laughs> okay, good morning, uh, sisters and brothers. So, last night, um, I was given a dream by the Lord. And in this dream, I had went to a place called um, Dodge Ridge, where people go and ski. It's here in California. And, uh, while I was there, I was skiing around on my skis and, um, doing pretty good too. Um, let's see. Um, I was there with a man named Matt Waters and, um, or Matthew Waters and I had taken my skis off and went into this shed area. And when I got into the shed area, uh, it looks like I was in an old barn where, so you walk into like an, uh, an old barn, a smaller barn or a shed, and there would be partitions like stalls and, uh, to open these stalls, there were little, um, Like in a bathroom stall, you know, those hooks or, you know, the latches, <laughs> sorry, uh, the latches, well, there was those type of fitting, um, on each of these stalls. And when I first walked in, I thought, uh, where, you know, I was thinking, where am I? This is really crazy, uh, creepy old looking and um, outside of one of these stalls, as I approached, I saw a pile of dung or poop and it was runny and just gross. And then the smell hit me. It was really disgusting. And so I opened the stall and I peeked in and I looked around and, um, I saw all these dogs laying down, um, in like little cub, uh, in cubby shelving, I guess, uh, like on hay, like how a chicken would lay in a roost inside of a chicken, um, pen. And there were two rows all around the stall. There were all these dogs. And I knew that these dogs were, they were what they, they were sled dogs and they were really sick. Some, their ribs were showing. They were laying in their own feces. Um, they were almost dying. And I remember feeling really, really sad because I knew that these dogs, um, they had been given a job to do. I mean, they were sled dogs, but they weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing. They were sick. And they were laying in their own excrement. And they were malnourished. They weren't fed right. And, um... So, anyway, that was the end of, of that. And when I woke up, I was thinking about it. I was like, Lord, well, what are you trying to, to show me? Because, obviously, there's something to that dream. I don't just, you know, dream stuff like that. And... And, um, in the Bible, the Lord mentions that a dog is referred to, um, a Gentile, an unbelieving Gentile, um, or an unbelieving Jew, someone that is not a part of the new covenant, but they are a part of the old law of Moses. So they haven't come into the fullness, um, of the sheepfold in belief upon Jesus Christ. So I was thinking, so here's all these sick dogs, sled dogs. They were Huskies. That's how I knew they were sled dogs. And, um, they're just sick. They're dying. They're malnourished. They're underfed. They have, they have diarrhea and they're laying in here, you know, on this hay and, um, 
and I'm thinking, okay, so we could liken this to uh, people that have been called by the Holy Spirit. They've been called by God, but they are not being fed right. They're not receiving the true gospel of Jesus Christ. And because of that, they're sick. They're, they're laying in their sin. Um, they're not spreading the true gospel. They're not being, they're not being used according to how they were called by God. Many are called, few are chosen. And so I thought, I remember thinking this is really sad because these are just beautiful dogs and they're just laying here wasting away. They're sick. Um, anyway, so, you know, dogs represent, um, they, the Lord even referred to Israel as a dog because it would cast, it was the dog had been cast out. Um, the Lord referred to another woman as a dog that had been put out outside, you know, and so, I don't know, pray about it, you guys. This is what I got from it, but uh, we have been chosen. We have, you know, I took it as like these dogs have been chosen from the found beginning of the world, but they just have not got there yet. They have not heard the true gospel preached out of somebody's mouth, and they're not going around doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is bringing the gospel of truth uh to whoever they can, you know, and they're sick. They're dying in their sins because they're still under the law of Moses, uh, the old covenant. Um, they're not under the new covenant of Jesus Christ and his finished work on the cross. Um, they're still sitting in their sin because they believe that they have to uh, work for their salvation. They... Um, don't believe that Jesus's grace and his finished work on the cross is enough. And that's really sad. That's really sad because if you're still living, relying on your own works and the law, then you're not in grace and your sins are not covered. So it really made me sad when I seen those dogs laying in there here, they have a purpose. They're they're made beautifully and, and fearfully, fearful, you know, <laughs> um, but they're just not be. they're dying. They're sick. And I believe that the, that's what the Lord is saying is that, you know, we have a mandate. We have, um, we, we are sent to go out into the highways and the byways and, and preach the gospel of, uh, the true gospel of grace and um, bring people, lead people to Jesus Christ and the truth and the gospel of freedom. Because when you stand in Jesus Christ and you believe that he died on the cross and atoned for your sins, you are set free. It's a gospel of liberty and love because God is love. He sent his only begotten son that everybody that believe upon him would not perish, but have everlasting life. And that's John three sixteen. And so I was led to um, the scripture here in, uh, excuse me, guys, Matthew nine twelve. But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, they that the whole, they that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. 13, but go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So in this dream, these dogs were sick. And so what does repent mean? Repent does not mean quit walking in your sins and all that. That's, that's impossible. We are, we are born into sin. It is in our DNA because we live in fallen bodies fallen fleshes from the garden. It's impossible to quit walking in your sin. That's why Jesus had to come and give his life a sacrifice to cover our sins, our yucky, disgusting flesh. So when you repent, it means to change your mind uh, about Jesus being the Messiah. 
because that's what Jesus and everybody was saying back then. They were, the Jews didn't believe. They did not believe that he was the promised Messiah. And he was saying, look, here I am. That's me. Yay, I'm here. I'm here to take away your sins. They didn't, the Pharisees didn't know that he was going to die on the cross here very shortly and give his life a living sacrifice um, and nail our sins on the cross so that all that believe upon him, that he was the Messiah, the lamb, you know, slain to take away the sins of the world, we would be saved. <laughs> and there's a lot of church buildings and there's a lot of people, there's a lot of false gospels out there brothers and sisters, and we have to keep our eyes open. There's even people on YouTube. Um, they seem like they are preaching the true gospel and they're not. And to an untrained Christian or a babe in Christ, they, they will not see it. They will not see it. And then, uh, people say, but they have dreams and visions. God's giving them dreams and visions. Look at, it's true. He is giving them dreams and visions because, uh, the, he's teaching them. He's trying to show them that, and they don't realize it, but it, the Lord, the Holy Spirit is trying to lead them into all truths and teach them about grace and law. So they're not, what they think in their mind is truth. They're not going around infecting other people with a false gospel. So just because someone's having dreams and visions, and yes, the Lord is speaking to them, um, they, they, a lot of times they twist it around and, uh, they try to, you know, turn it, turn the dream, um, into something that it's not. It's really the Lord, uh, teaching them and showing them, look, um, I died for your sins <laughs> and, uh, you don't have to work anymore because my blood is sufficient enough. My blood covers you. And your filthy rags, your filthy flesh, and, and your yucky sin. It's my righteousness, not your righteousness, that's going to earn your way to heaven. Because you can't earn your way to heaven. Only God and his righteousness imputed to you is what makes you righteous. Not anything that you do. And as I watch a lot of these people's dreams on YouTube, uh, I realize that. <laughs> I'm like, no. That's not what the Lord's trying to tell you. The Lord's trying to, trying to tell you that, you know, you're walking in law. You're, you're living your life in law and you're putting other people under fear, guilt, shame, and condemnation, which there, there is no more condemnation. If you stand in Jesus Christ and you believe in Jesus Christ and you have accepted him as your Lord and savior, therefore there is no more condemnation to those who stand in Jesus Christ. And so these people are saying, you know, some say, oh, the Lord told me I'm left behind or, you know, the Lord told me this or the Lord told me that. And they'll share their dream and they'll totally misinterpret it. It's not, that's not what that means. So, um, we have to pray for discernment, brothers and sisters, anything that is not preaching that salvation is a gift given by God to all those that believe, believe that Jesus is the Messiah and he is the savior of the world. Throw it in the garbage. You know, be careful what you're taking in your eye, your ear gates. Be careful because you could be overeating. You see what I mean? You're overeating. And the Lord told me that one time, you're overeating. You're, you're watching all these other things. And uh, they're misinterpreting. They're giving you the wrong food. You're becoming sick. Sick. You know, you're supposed to be out there hauling that sled helping people, you know, bringing people to the, to the true gospel. And you're listening to every other person. And, um, that's not the truth. That's not the true gospel. <clears throat> Anything saying that you have to keep, uh, working and working and working and working on yourself and working on yourself. Well, go ahead. Keep working on yourself. You know, that doesn't mean salvation. Salvation is through belief on Jesus Christ. And it's all through the Bible. It's all through the Bible. But, um, anyway, so yeah, it was just made me really sad to see those sled dogs, those huskies in there sick and laying in their own feces, laying in their own sin because they just couldn't do it. They were just sick. And, uh, you know, 
people that are in, sitting in unbelief or haven't been grafted in um, are referred to as dogs. And if you believe that you have to do it yourself um, and then to get into heaven, you have to do this and all this stuff all your life. And then, and then maybe, maybe you'll get into heaven. That's a lie from the devil. That's a lie. Don't believe that. And don't believe anybody that's trying to tell you that either. That's a lie. And if they're saying, well, I had a dream about this and that, then you need to, uh, that person needs to, uh, really think about what their dream was talking about and really, really have discernment and, and, uh, really go to someone that knows how to interpret dreams and ask, you know, scripture, scripture will interpret your dreams. Um, and really pray about what you're watching on YouTube. Um, because you can't be like the Pharisees. They go around preaching old law. And if you want to stay in the law and do works, you better put an altar out on your front lawn or in your backyard and go down to your local, uh, livestock auction and buy some doves and sheep and, and cattle and stuff and, uh, get your altar set up and go do your sacrifice and, and make sure you have your priestly garments and every other thing too, or else it's not going to count. <laughs> Cause if you broke one law, you've transgressed the whole law, all of it. You're guilty before God. But if you believe on Jesus Christ and you believe that he died for you and you believe that he was the promised Messiah sent to die on the cross and take, you know, and you say, you confess with your mouth and you believe in the heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. He was raised from the dead on the third day. He took away your sins. <clears throat> if you've said that prayer, Lord, I am a sinner and I need a savior, you know, save me, Lord, fill me with your Holy spirit. Uh, and you believe that he would, he was my, you're saved. You're saved. You know, it is finished. There's not much more I can say about that. But I know a lot lately that the Lord has been giving me a lot of dreams about um, how we need to be spreading the gospel of truth and telling people about the kingdom of the Lord. And the kingdom of the Lord is very near. And he is coming so soon, brothers and sisters. But anyway... This is going on seven, 18 minutes now. <laughs> so, but anyway, I love you guys. And, uh, I hope you're having a blessed day today. And remember the true gospel grace. It's grace. You know, it's our faith. When the Lord comes back, he's going to be looking for who has faith. Who has faith and who's filled with my Holy Spirit and who's, you know, who's waiting for me? You know? All right. I love you guys.